art, arts, theatre, what, what's it for? I'm on the um, audition panel at um, RADA, sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, but uh, one of the, when people get through to the second round, one of the questions that we ask them is, what, what, what do you think theatre's for? Like, in the world, what's it for? And um, in this report, when it, there's a, a section on pleasure on page 18. And I'm just going just, I'm just to read a couple of these, because when I read them, it just... I just wanted to go, yes, that's what it's for. Um, somebody, one of the students says, it's like it's not a second home, it's like my first home, out of home. It feels, it's like a big adrenaline rush and, and you're in control. And what you do is what people see and it's like it's a pleasure for people to be watching you and you can feel or see them enjoying your performance or you're being a part of something that you're enjoying and the feeling, it feels like it's just powerful. I don't know, it's powerful and I just feel like it's one of the greatest pleasures on earth, basically. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. It's, it's the... Arts are transformational. Yeah. It's not about... It's not about your, or your, your money or your status or anything. It's about what touches your heart. When I was um, uh, 16, I grew up in the Cotswolds in Gloucestershire. So when I go home, I talk to my mates like that. And they're like, all right, how do you... So like Matt Brixton's, it's bad they say up there, is it all right? <laughs> I, think I grew up in the Cotswolds in the 60s. There were three black people, me, my dad, and my brother. <laughs> uh, I learned how to headbutt people quite early on. Um, so by the time I was 16, I was quite depressed. Uh, uh, I, was, I, was, um, uh, I, was, I was supposed to go to Oxbridge. My parents were getting divorced. I was anorexic. It was not good. And um, uh, my saving grace was I did drama O-level. Yes, O-level. And um, uh, in my school, as you, you were saying, Teresa, drama was not considered a proper subject, so you weren't allowed to do it at O-level till you were in the sixth form doing A-levels in proper subjects, like science or history, stuff like that. So um, uh, I did drama O-level in the sixth form, and it saved my life. It saved my life. And I went to see part of the project, uh, the drama course, you had to go and see a play and then write a report on it. So I went to Bristol Old Vic to see what was on. It was Kate Nelligan in David Hare's Plenty. So, okay, so this play is about a woman who uh, is sent over on special ops during the Second World War. She's a sort of wealthy, middle-class English woman. She goes to France. She's brilliant as a spy. She ha has adventures. She she defeats the Nazis in various places, she falls in love. But the main thing is, she is, she's found the thing that is her thing. She's found the thing that she is good at, who she is. And then she comes back to London after the war, and she has to go back to being a secretary again. Not that there's anything wrong with being a secretary, but she was a spy. She was a good spy. She wasn't a secretary. And it devastates her, and she feels like her life is over. And I sat there in the theatre on my own, up in the gods, in the cheap seats, and I wept. I was a 16-year-old girl from the Cotswolds, African father, English mother, um, depressed, lonely, all sorts of things. And I wept about a middle-class English woman from the 1940s who'd just got back from fighting the Nazis. And as I sat there in the theatre, I thought, I want to do that. Mm. I want a bit of that. Whatever has made me cry, I want that because that's the power of art. Art is transformational. It can touch us and it can speak to us in the most unexpected ways. And what this young person describes here is that thing, that, that big, big adrenaline rush, you know? And you might get it doing it, you might uh, get it facilitating it, designing it, lighting it, watching it. Whatever it is, I'm getting my two minute, one minute, Ooh. dang. Um, so, um, <laughs> So the, the, the value of art is it keeps us sane. The value of art, of theatre, is that it reflects stories back to us of people we have no idea about. It can, it can, you can, you can, I can watch that woman and go, she's talking about something I feel. I feel out of my water, the water I should be swimming in. I feel like I'm not being expressed or having the opportunity to live the life that I'm made for. And, and as artists, some of us were just made for it. It's just, it, it's just our, it's the thing that we should be doing. 
And what we do is we give other people the opportunity to breathe out in their souls. We give them the opportunity to feel someone else's life, to see someone else living stuff they're living in a different way and kind of go, oh, ha, huh, that's how they're dealing with it. It's a, it's a precious gift. It's a health service. It's a joy service. <laughs> it's a life-saving thing. And if you have the, um, if that happens to be your thing and that's what touches your heart and you have the gift and the talent and the interest and the, frankly, the Teflon, because you will get rejected much more than you will get accepted, <laughs> then you should do it. And, and, and you, can, uh, you can lose nine grand a year studying business studies. You can lose nine grand a year in all sorts of different ways. If you get the opportunity to pour it into this thing, take it. Do not worry about the debt. I know uh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? But do not worry about the debt. Think beyond the debt. Mm. And um, uh, um, uh, things that I would really like. I would love um, more people of the age of young people who are thinking of applying for drama schools to get audition practice. I want to come and talk to you about Shakespeare. I want to come and tell you how to do that audition when you go in, the things that the panel will be looking for. I want to say to you, when you pick your modern piece, pick something that reflects who you are. The panel don't know you from a bunch of greats. Let them know who you could be, how they could cast you, what, sort of, what suits you, what are you interested in, what story do you want to tell? Come and do that. When you do your Shakespeare, be accurate, be on point with the punctuation, get the rhythms, really understand, read the whole play, know what this is about, why is this person <laughs> saying this thing now? But you don't have to do Poshington accents. We don't have to have lots of RP like this. Shakespeare wasn't, they were, you know, Midlands, he would have been writing it like this, probably. Do you know, so, do, so um, you know, your energy, your lifeblood, when you pour it into a classical text like that, it comes alive. So be, be, just grab the stuff that you love. Find people like Teresa. Find anyone that will help you. Go online. Ring people up and hassle them. Ring Central. Ring Rada. Ring me. Whatever. Just if you, if you, if this is this is um, this is serious. You know, this country needs to know that arts are a value. This country needs to understand that people's lives need the enrichment of their whole brain. It's not just eat work, feed, sleep, have sex, produce children. We have massive brains, we have massive hearts. There is a whole world out there. And the, the sort of work that theatre um, and drama training can give you is the opportunity to see the bigness of the world, to have your head buzz with it, to have your heart beat with it. You know, it's, it's, it's the most wonderful thing. And, and to let... Um, your world and your future be shrunk by things that you don't know or money that you don't know about. You, you, you deserve better than that. And, and you are blessings in the world and we deserve to have your input. We deserve to have our lives enriched by what you may bring to them. So um, follow this young man, <laughs> four goes, <laughs> bosh, back he came. and, and um, you know, and, 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 and if you feel defeat and defeat uh, stops you in your tracks, then find another way of enjoying the art. Maybe your way is not going to be as an actor. Maybe your way is going to be as a writer. Or maybe your way is going to be in something that isn't a field of art, but it lets you come and see the art. Find out about cheap tickets. Find out about deals. Does, uh, you know, ask people. I want to know. I want somebody to tell me this stuff. Because it's all there. We live in London. I grew up in the Cotswolds. We have two buses a week. <laughs> so, you know, it's there for you.